one more time to track announcer Vance Cameron. Complete player, Tempo Shieldster Legendary Run, Smart Official Paris Bow Adventure Luck, Rock and Indy Ashes to Ashes Outside, the trailer is Tobinator. Top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. It's finale time. The rough and pacing out to the front. Tempo Shieldster and complete player following through. That's Tobinator. Third around the turn. Legendary Ron got away fourth. From the outside, fifth is Paris Bow. Raging from six as they drive up the back stretch, going to the opening quarter. On the lead, complete player from the outside. That's Tempo Shieldster parked and moving up. Racing third up the rail, Tobinator. Now in fourth, Legendary Ron. Smart Official is fifth. Then in sixth, Paris Bow. Seventh along the inside is Adventure Lock. Racing from eighth, Rock and Indy. Trailing ninth, Ashes to Ashes, 29. Seconds flat was the opening quarter mile. On the point as they moved down the stretch for time one. Tempo Sealster made the lead for Kenny Murphy. Complete player is second. Racing third, Tobinator. First up, that smart official fourth. Following him on the outside, fifth is Adventure Lock. Racing sixth, Legendary Ron on the outside, seventh. That is Rockin' Indy. Ashes to Ashes, eighth. Paris Bow now, ninth. 58 and two for an opening half mile. With three eights left to go, the track a little tighter now in the late going. On route to three quarters, the leader, Tempo Shieldster, from the outside and racing second. As they move along the back stretch, smart official, adventure luck, a mighty long shot, is coming three wide third. Then in fourth, complete player on the outside, fifth, rocking Indy getting into it late, three quarters up in one. 29 and 1. They're down to an eighth to go. In at the rail, Tempo Shieldster. Run right alongside Smart Official. Then in third, Adventure Luck. Up the inside, complete player. Deep stretch. Now, here in the finale, Smart Official. Paris. Bow on the outside. Wow. I don't know if Campbell got it again, but we're going to need a win photo. What a way to top off that afternoon. 159 3. Well, that's a good-looking race and a good compact field of horses coming off the turn for home. They're all in this one, and it's not posted yet, but it looked to me like the five may have gotten up there, but like I said, it's not posted. It's very close, and that will give Mark Campbell five wins on the day if he does get the job done. Now it is posted. The five gets the job done here this afternoon. Congratulations to Mark Campbell on your fifth win, and Doug Beckwith, the owner of Paris Bow. Smart official was in that win photo. He is second. In there for third, that is the six, Adventure Luck. And the two, Tempo Sealster in there for fourth. Five, four, six, two, unofficially in the finale. We'll see the winning connections in the Red Shores Winner Circle next. Mark Campbell never, and I mean never, gives up on a horse in any race. And this afternoon here at Charlottetown, he shines through with another one coming just from out of the clouds here to win in the 13th. That's Paris Bow. They pacing Gelding Ape on neutralized from the Cam's Carn Shark Dam. Paris. Owned and trained by Doug Bethwith of Second North River, New Brunswick. Mark Campbell tops off the afternoon with a handful, five of them. 
count them, five trips to the winner's circle. The mile 159 and three. Parish Bow circles up in the nightcap. 